Before we get into the video, uh, just a shameless plug, I did actually recently get a G Fuel sponsorship, so you can now use code HADON for 30% off your entire order. Uh, it lasts for a couple more days, and uh, it is actually a product that I really do stand behind. I use this every single day, and you're actually guaranteed to make all of your predictions correct if you drink this stuff, especially the Bahama Mama flavor. Yeah. Okay, I lied about that last part, it's only if you use my code. Alright, so first of all, what the hell is happening? And secondly, uh, I apologize for the lack of videos lately. It's been a really busy month for me, and uh, I just haven't had a whole lot of time. In between series, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Uh, I finished up my last Nuzlocke over on Twitch. I have been streaming a little bit over there, but I just really haven't had the time to put in the effort uh, to give you guys some good YouTube videos. But, your boy is back, and we're better than ever. Um, I do want to get my hands dirty with some more competitive Pokemon. But before we kind of go into some Wi-Fi stuff or even uh, just some showdown stuff, actually building funny teams, I do want to mess around in some random battles. I always ha seem to have a pretty good time messing with Randbats, and uh, I think you guys might enjoy this a little bit. Random battles is always good for some shenanigans, and I do want to just kind of get the, uh, the rust off a little bit before Sword and Shield comes out. Uh, I do plan on getting uh, the channel back into full force with some, like, uh, daily uploads hopefully with some competitive stuff with sword and shield i'm really excited for that to get game to come out uh, because it's going to be a whole fresh new meta and i am super excited for that but without any further ado let's just hop into some random battles here uh, if you're not familiar showdown essentially just gives you a completely random team and you just kind of see how you can do so we get a lapras lead against a mudsdale and that is looking pretty solid for us a nice start a nice little welcome back to the competitive scene we also have uh, a hoopa which is fun i haven't used a hoopa ever i don't think it has hyperspace fury hello what even is this okay i'm gonna try not to make too many misplays but to be honest i'm probably gonna be garbage so bear with me here as i just I, it's literally been since before uh let's go pikachu and eevee came out that i've even played pokemon so or competitive mons as he brings in a parasect with the dry skin to absorb the hydro pump now he thinks this thing's definitely gonna spore um, I guess I could go into Kartana here. Literally, Parasect has nothing in its move pool to affect Kartana, so we're going to go into this thing. As uh, It's actually just going to Leech Seed, okay? If they didn't give <laughs> Parasect Spore uh, as a move, like on its move pool in random battles, that'd be hilarious. I know they do actually hook you up with some really random move sets on these, but we seem to get some pretty decent ones with the Swords Dance Kartana. Let's just go right for the Swords Dance here as he has an Embor. Okay, that was dumb uh, considering you can't see their team. I probably should have just gone for the safe play and gone for, like, a Sacred Sword. But, uh, alrighty then. Kartana is not going to be looking too good here. We will be able to outspeed. Does Sacred Sword knock this thing out here? I have no idea, but I'm going to click it anyway. We're only level 80. Oh, it does knock its ass out. Okay, yeah, Embor. I feel like this thing was thicker than that, but honestly, my whole... I feel like I used to have a pretty decent feel of what, like, damage calcs in my head, but... When your level, like their levels are even random here. So that was level 80. We're going up against an 88 Mudsdale. We can just go for the Leaf Blade here. I don't know why you're bringing in the Mudsdale. That thing, that boy dead as hell. And this thing's getting, you're about to get swept by a fucking unfolded Chinese takeout box. You hate to see it. Brings in uh, the Magirna. And we are just going to Sacred Sword it. I don't know why you went into Mudsdale there. Well, it looks like we're going to, ladies and gents, we're going to start off our first battle back. <laughs> with the nice, the clean sweep. Kartana, an absolute beast. I don't think, I, I think I've used a Kartana like once or twice. Not, uh, not too familiar with Kartana. Okay, now he, bring, now he brings in the Passimian, which could have stopped the sweep earlier. But, uh, Rock Ruffo, you really, you really seem to have blown it here, buddy. Let's go into, we have freaking Rabombi. I'm bringing in the Rabombi. Just gonna Bumblebee that ass real quick. Let's, um. He's going to click Moonblast. His last is going to be that Parasect. Uh, as he is, going to switch into there. Break, saving the choice. I'm assuming it's a Scarf Passimian. For the most part, I feel like that's what you see with those things. But, I mean, I mean, you know, I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't think this thing even has Spore. Let's go for a Quiver Dance. Because we like to live dangerously. He's going to lead. Okay, Elite Seed's not going to save you now, buddy. And the Bug Buzz with a Crit is going to do it for us. So, now he just has to bring in the Passimian. And, uh, Kartana and Rabombi. Done did it for us. All right, so we're starting off with the dub. Let's see if we can go this whole episode not losing. It's pretty unlikely. 
but I am going to try my best. Um, ooh, starting up with the Yvaltel. Okay. And the Drift Blim. All right, cool. This is actually a great matchup for us as well. Yeah, we got a pretty interesting team here. We have a Toxic Heal Gliscor with Roost, Earthquake Protect, and Knockoff. So the standard absolute asshole Gliscor. Love to see that. I uh, even got a Regirock, so this is pretty nice. We can just go right for a foul play here. Don't know what this guy's going to want to do to us, but uh, this boy's name is Fac 1776 Do you ever think about when people have random numbers in their name? Like what? What's up? What's up with that? Also, my name is probably Hayden, because I'm not quite sure if I'm Hayden at this point, but I think probably, so. Alright, this guy is seeming to pretty much be over it, considering he hasn't clicked anything. He sees an absolute garbage matchup lead for him, but oh, okay, he's got something in the back of the Magirna. Alright, so we're not going to be able to do much with that, so Magirna again, huh? Um, what, does Drag Algae have a lot on this? Okay, we have Hidden Power Fire. Um... What the hell do we do to Magirna? This is also something I feel like I haven't seen very much of. All right, this thing's gonna shift gear, I feel like. And that is very bad for us. What do we want, what do I wanna do here? Um, I'm spooked. Hidden Power Fire is probably not gonna be able to do shit. Let's go into the Drag Algae here. And uh, this thing's gonna actually calm mine. So that is not what we wanted to see. We're gonna Hidden Power Fire. Do I have a strong, okay, I think Gliscor probably would have been the better switch there. Um, I was just, I didn't know what it was going to do. Fleur Cannon is going to drop its special defense so the Hidden Power Fire does, you know, absolutely nothing, but it's fine. Going to die to another cannon, and, uh, or I mean, it's dropped its special attack, not special defense. Okay, well, heck, this is, uh, we have that thing, we have freaking this thing, we could go into the Reggie Rock. no, nope, no, nope, probably not, we're going into the Gliscor. Um, let's just Earthquake. Or we protect and get the toxic, but it doesn't really matter at this point. We're just going to EQ. So help me God if I get swept by a damn bunny. Okay, cool. He's going to go into the Mantine. So good play there. Uh, we do get our toxic orb, which is great. Assuming he's probably just going to like scald here. Um, it would be nice to... Ooh, we can get the sticky web up with uh, our boy Leveny here. Let's, let's go into this thing. Leveny. Um, a Pokemon I totally forgot existed. Let's just go for... Let's go for the sticky web. I feel like that's going to help us out. Oh, always nice to get, because a lot of the time you don't end up with a rapid spinner or a defog. Oh, but fucking Mantine's a defogger. This is that was terrible. Okay, Air Slash is gonna knock us out. I should not. That was this. That was bad. I am bad. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Well, it's looking like. Ooh, we have uh, Stone Edge on the Hitmon top. Let's go into that. Uh, oh, oh! Accidentally hit Sucker Punch there. The misclick saved me with the cancel button. That is something that I really wish that. Uh, regular Wi-Fi would implement. Maybe they're gonna bring it with uh, Sword and Shield, is that you can cancel your move. Of course, I missed the Stone Edge. You get the Air Slash off, but it only does 47%. So we have another chance here. Damn it, Stone Edge! That is something I did not miss. Is the damn Stone Edge misses? Okay, uh, we get a crit there. Not even bad. Gonna knock that bitch out. Love to see it. Okay. Not even a threat. In comes. The Drift Blim probably, what the hell is this thing going to be? It's going to be a, it's going to be an Unburden Flying Gym Acrobatics? I don't know. What the hell? Drift Blim always, I feel like, has so many options. I don't know what to expect. But let's go into the Red Rock. We can save that Hitmon top for uh, an Intimidate later. So he does Acrobatics. Nice. Look at me making the calls. Let's go for a T-Wave in case he decides to go into the Magirna. Uh, I know that with the Sticky Web up, it's not too big of an issue on speed. But it is nice to uh, be annoying with the Thunder Wave. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, he goes into a Swamp Bird. So, okay, worst case scenario there. Don't really have much for this thing at all. Swamp Bird is going to be... Swamp Bird's going to be a problem. It would be nice to get a Toxic off on this thing. Um, I could also go into Yavalto and do that as well. But I just do not want to take a Scald here. Uh, Gliscor has no business going into that. Let's actually go into the Hitmon top. I feel like this thing's probably the most expendable at this point. He goes ahead and sets up the rocks, okay? Okay, uh, are you going to... What are you going to do, buddy? So it's not Mega. We see that. Let's go for the Toxic. Uh, he's going to bring in the Drift Blim. Okay. Luckily, I didn't close combat there. That's fine. Um, and now I can either save this Hitmon... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to save the Hitmon top. Let's go into the Gliscor. This is actually a good battle here. Sometimes you actually get some pretty interesting matches. If the person knows what they're doing. That is... 
That's the big, okay, he will wisp as I bring in the Toxic Hill Gliscor, so that's nice. Uh, now we get a free attack here. He still has two that we have not revealed yet. Um, I'm just gonna go probably for the knockoff. Depends on, and then, okay, that's gonna work out. Uh, it is gonna get rid of his Citrus Berry, which is great. He's just now gonna Acrobatics. And uh, now, I guess it doesn't really matter what we click. We're just gonna go for the knockoff again. And the Poison Heal is gonna be helping us out. I should have gone for the Protect, actually. That was bad. Was I not first last turn? I was first. Do we have a fucking speed tie here? Hold up. Because I went for the knockoff and then it used acrobatics. That was really unfortunate that uh, thing outsped me. Okay, well, in comes the pert. And uh, do I just protect and get some health back? Can I even live? It's got two levels on me. Do I go into the Hitmon top? Or I'm going to protect. We're going to protect, get a little bit, a little bit of toxic damage or heal. So we get up above half. Now we can go ahead and bring back back into the hit on top he doesn't have the switch back into the drift blim so that's good we can freely close combat assuming that was his only ghost don't burn me please oh, damn it it burnt me okay well we live it with three and at this point we're just gonna click toxic although he's gonna protect you son of a bitch welp you hate to see that let's uh get back into the volatile he's probably gonna bring in the magirna it's sitting at 83 percent health i don't feel like we're gonna be able to win this one boys <laughs> this is this is a little bit this is a little bit tough we're gonna just click focus blast um, we just really don't have anything for that damn steel pokeball bunny but uh, your boys gonna try he has a scolipede okay well not the best that I went for focus blast we miss anyway and uh, heck so for scolipede we can go back into Gliscor uh, I think our best bet would be able to try to get as much health with the Gliscor as we can Hopefully, what's this thing going to do? It's just going to rock slide. Okay, great. Oh, the crit, though. What? Hello? Okay. Um, That is unfortunate. Let's go for a protect. He still has the Swampert. If he di decides to switch into the Swampert here, that's going to suck. Um, but I need to basically conserve this Gliscor. It seems like, I don't know. We're going to just protect. He's going to rock slide again. Okay. So now we can, uh, this thing with the speed boost, heck and annoying. Let's go for a roost. This thing's just gonna rock slide again. Don't flinch me, you bastard. Don't do it. Yeah, we get the roost off. Nice. Okay, so now I, I really don't have much of this fucking skull Pete. Is it choiced? We haven't seen. No, it's gonna swords dance now. Oh, sweet Jesus. Do you guys remember the days of Baton Pass swords dance skull Pete? Right when X and Y came out, this thing was an absolute beast. Uh, let's just go for earthquakes here. We kind of just need to stay in here. Rock slide flinches are our worst enemy at this point, but with that poison heal, we're actually gonna end this matchup looking pretty nice. Uh, actually, I really should have roosted there. Damn it, that was a bad play. I should have roosted. I didn't think I was going to get this sweaty in a damn random battle. Holy shit. <laughs> this is actually a really long one, too. Uh, but unfortunately, it's looking like we're probably going to lose. Uh, he'll bring in the Swampert here. Yep, there's the Pert. Um, let's just protect, get a little bit of poison. And Scald is going to destroy us. If only this wasn't a Regirock, we would be... In much better of a position I mean also with the stealth rock up we're kind of limited on switches hate to see it he's just gonna scald does 21% to us um, I'm gonna roost I don't think he'll go directly into the Magirna he might what is his last mon still the Magirna is scary though can it even can it knock out oh he's going into a Steelix okay so he does have a Steelix it's interesting let's go for a focus blast on this thing um, what is my special attack here? 249. So it's a Mega Steelix and we missed the fucking Focus Blast again. D why? Why does RNGesus hate me? It is absolutely punishing me for taking so long to upload. Okay, now he's going to go back into the Swampert. So he gets the Toxic up, which is extremely annoying. Uh, the Focus Blast does like nothing. And uh, it's looking like we're a little bit hecked here, boys. We need to knock out this Purr. Um, I'm just going to go for the damage. Oh, he's going to you bastard. This guy is playing hardball. The protect stall out a little bit of toxic damage, which is annoying. Please let me kill this thing. Because we know that Steelix doesn't have anything for Gliscor or Regirock, really. So it's honestly... If we can get rid of that, if we can get rid of that Magirna, we're looking pretty solid. Uh, foul play last turn did 44%, so it's in at 41. We should be able to knock it out. He doesn't protect, surprisingly. We're able to take care of the Pert, and Yuvaltal does still have a little bit of life left in him. 
This is nice. Okay, so he's probably not going to go Steelix. Oh, he's going to go Steelix. Okay, well, we can just go for the Focus Blast. Uh, it's actually a good play because we would have had a free attack on the Bagirna. Uh, at 83, that thing is looking spooky. Okay, now he's just going to switch in the Bagirna. Okay, please don't miss this Focus Blast. Yeah, okay. That doesn't do very much at all, but that's fine. And now it comes down to... Do I go into Regirock here? No, because I only have Drain Punch against it. Fuck. This is bad. I think we just have to go Gliscor, and I have to protect here. If it shift gears, though, I think we lose. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to win this, but it has been close, and this is actually really good for getting getting the old gears turning in my head. No pun intended uh, in terms of uh, competitive mons. Um, so this thing, oh, is this going to Fleur Cannon? That probably is still going to knock me out, though. Do I go for the double protect? Nope, we just click Earthquake. And we, oh, we outsped? Holy shit, this thing's at 150. I forgot how fucking fast Gliscor was, and we win. I accidentally downloaded the replay. <laughs> Hello? Okay, wow. I, see, that's why I'm so, I feel like I'm so dumb at this, is because I didn't even realize, I could have just checked this thing's fucking speed the whole time. Gliscor, you're at 198? Hello, why is Gliscor, I mean, you got wings and shit, but I always thought, Gl okay, well, I now remember some stuff, and we actually, <laughs> we won that one. So, that was an interesting battle if I had, known that earlier i feel like i could have done much better but yo we get love disc and his fake ass evolution of gorbis so that's kind of cool let's go for a substitute here you bastard fucking this thing's you're faster than me okay damn love disc is fast as hell too we're still gonna shell smash behind the substitute we've got the toxic this thing can't knock this out there's i, I know love disc move pool move pool because i did use it a while back which was actually probably like two years ago now but Gadnook the Destroyer cannot break this sub, uh, which is good. And unfortunately, we probably can't knock this thing out either. We kind of we're gonna have to hit like two hydro pumps. We miss, of course, because the world hates me today. And we're just gonna continue to click hydro pump. I really needed that to hit. I think it would have been a two hit KO. Honestly, dog, I don't know. Yeah, easy. Okay, easy, easy money. And that's gonna break the sub. So this is annoying. We're just gonna click ice beam knock it out and uh we do die to the poison as well so we traded love disc for gorbis that was a really bad trade on my end because i had a shell smasher and you hate to see it but i do have a freaking mega blaziken nice i'm so overwhelmed this is actually really fun i'm enjoying this a lot okay hold up we're gonna start the timer we also have a, th a scarf thunderous that has volt switch let's go into this thing oh perfect he's gonna bring in the uh the braviary let's go for just the volt switch here if he's if he's good, he'll have a ground type, but okay, Manectric is even better uh, with the lightning rod. Fuck. Okay, that was really bad. <laughs> Damn it! I thought the Scar Volt Switch was going to be great for us there. But now he has a special attack boosted Manectric. It's probably going to be Mega. And uh, sweet Jesus. But we have a Volt Absorb Zeraora, which I have never used this thing before. Holy shit. Okay, we have Plasma Fist, Knock Off, and we have Work Up. Hello? We're going into this boy. What even, what do you even do? So he does intimidate and the overheat. Okay, well, so that really sucks. Um, and we're definitely, we're faster. So we can go for, we can go f I mean, fuck. <laughs> this Mega Manectric is a threat. Um, it's sitting at 269, so, oof. We don't have, we do not have much for this thing, but it's nice that he got that special attack drop. I think we probably just want to click Plasma Fist here. Fuck it. It's going to do like nothing, but I think it was our best bet there as I probably, I mean, knockoff wouldn't have done much because it can't get rid of it. It's Mega Stone. Grass Knot wouldn't have done shit either. Just wasting, just wasting my, my best thing. Okay. Hey, and he forfeit. All right. He forfeited. He just left. So we're just going to go ahead and chalk that one up as if that didn't happen, and <laughs> we're going to still take the dub, but I, we're gonna, that probably should have been a loss. It's fine. It's fine. But now we have a freaking bug grass against a Pidgeot, so probably a Mega Pidgeot. Uh, we don't have... Hmm, we have a Lunala. That's cool. We have Tapu Koko. We're just going right into the Tapu Koko. Why the hell not? So it is Mega Pidgeot going to go for that Hurricane. Actually does a pretty clean chunk. Um, we have a Z pump. We have a uh, we got the, the electric Z move here too. Looking nice. Let's go for the U turn. There's no way he stays in here. He's gonna be faster, but wait, is he? No, I'm just gonna go to the Mammoth Swine. Okay, so we get the pivot here, and with the Mammoth Swine, what do I want against this thing? 
Hmm. We can outspeed and go for the close combat. I do kind of want to save our boy Terrakion here for the Swords Dance later, potentially. But what do I want to do? Do I go into the Lunala and Focus Blast it? We're, we're definitely going to miss that fucking Focus Blast. There's no doubt about it. But we're going forward anyway. Bring in the Lunala. Let's go for the Focus Blast. And I guess just hope for the best here. I don't know what kind of set this Mammoth Swine is going to be working with. In general, they're pretty... They're pretty predictable, but a lot of the time you do see, like, they don't give the best movesets to certain things. Like, I don't think Parasect gets Spore in this. I don't even think Breloom gets Spore in this, which is unfortunate. But, uh, well, I guess we'll see what this, this old piggy wants to do. Come on, swine boy. You don't want to catch this Lunala smoke. Or you might. Okay, we go for the Focus Blast and we do connect, which is going to knock it out. Nice. And he forfeited. All right. We got, we're getting <laughs> we're getting a lot of people forfeiting, uh, which is unfortunate. But, I mean, you kind of come to expect that in random battles. This may be the last one. As this guy gets a Groudon lead, we get a Reshiram. Sweet Jesus. All right. The, the power is real. Uh, so, with the sun up, I'm tempted to just fucking click Blue Flare. But, uh, let's see. What do I have for a Groudon here? We have an interesting team. Not looking like the best. Do I want to just blue flare here? 20% chance to... Uh, this thing's just going to EQ. Do I go into... We don't go into the... Okay, Amoongus gets Spore, so you'd love to see it. I have nothing for a damn Groudon at all. So we just stay in here and click blue flare. That is unfortunate. Why don't I have anything for a fucking Groudon? Hello? So it's sitting at 185... We actually potentially have a speed dive. This is max speed. I don't think it will be max speed. Um, but we're actually Assault Vest Reshiram, which is cool. Maybe this Groudon doesn't have Earthquake. <laughs> it for sure, I'm sure it does. But All right, Troncher. Let's see what you got here, buddy. This is going to be an interesting one. Why, why the legendary leads? Oh, shit, ladies and gents, he did actually click something. He went for the Stealth Rock. Uh, the Blue Flare is going to hit it for 87% and a burn, which is great. Uh, so at the cost of Stealth Rock, we're able to pretty much make the Groudon useless, and that is fantastic. We are just going to click Dragon Pulse at this point in case he wants to switch. Um, oh, and he disconnected. He has a minute to reconnect. Odds are this dude's not coming back, so... Uh, we're just going to go ahead and count that as a win, and we're going <laughs> to we're gonna add a game. So, so far, we haven't got a proper loss, but pretty much everything has gone to freaking people forfeiting. But uh, we're starting a new one. Fresh slate, boys. A Scavalier versus Shuckle. And uh, we're just going to set up some hazards here. Wait, hold up. What's the rest of the team? I never <laughs> I never look. Okay. We got a uh, Solgaleo, Pangoro, Mandibuzz, Regirock. Diggersby. Cool. Well, let's just go over the rocks here. Uh, this thing's going to Iron Head and absolutely destroy me, but we'll get the rocks up. That's fine. Everything is fine. Nothing to see here. Let's go into this thing. Absolutely scare the shit out of this. Honestly, Escavalier is a Pokemon that is widely forgotten. This thing, it has a lot of potential. I really like its design. It's a pretty cool mod. Okay, we have Sunsteel Strike. I honestly forgot that was even a thing. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have a fucking fire move, so we just click Sunsteel Strike as we... Okay, nice. He's afraid. We, we basically bluff the fire move, and in comes a Darkrai, who uh, is going to be able to outspeed us because Darkrai is fast as hell. Do you get Dark Void, though? Do you get the Dark Void? Okay, this is bad for us. We're going to go into Pangoro. Seems like a decent matchup against this thing. Go ahead and break the mold, and he's just going to Dark Pulse. Okay, so it does a... Hefty 8.6%. And uh, now we can basically... Uh, we can even just parting shot. Predicting a switch. Uh, so we're able to lower their, both their attack and special attack. Uh, and we can switch out. Let's go for that. He is going to switch. Going to go back into the Escavalier. So perfect. Hit him with a clean parting shot. I think parting shot is one of the moves I've never even used in competitive. But it is a good one. Okay. And then... We probably just Mandibuzz. So let's uh, let's just go right for the Brave Bird. I don't know if this thing even wants to stay in here. We're just going to click Brave Bird. We don't have any fire moves on this damn team, but we have a 
Soul Glaive. Did, what, what fire move does Soul Glaive even get? Why do I feel like that thing has generally a standard fire move? I don't know. It's a fucking... He's a sun, sun boy, you would think. I don't know. Okay. In comes a Blastoise. Gonna assume probably Mega. Also gonna assume an Ice Beam is coming. So, what do... We don't have much. Do I just go into Shuckle and let this thing die? Nope, we're gonna click Toxic. I think we can... I think we'll be okay here. So he gets that big ass cannon on his back and now he's gonna Ice Beam. Yep, so we only actually take 46% from that. Not even bad. How much did my Brave Bird do? My Brave Bird did 35% so we're not able to quite knock it out here. Do I want to save Mandibuzz? I think I kind of do. I think I... maybe... Yeah, let's go into Shuckle here. Shuckle's essentially useless at this point. We can at least live in Ice Beam, let this thing rack up some more toxic damage. And we can click Sticky Web on the off chance that we live. But Scald's gonna do a sorry noodles. So we're able to knock that thing down with the poison pretty nicely. Um, Diggersby has freaking Swords Dance Quick Attack. This guy is about to get destroyed by the Diggersby though. At some point, maybe. Okay, let's go back into the Mandibuzz or we go... I don't think, there's no way that thing's max speed. We're going back into the Mandibuzz. We're just gonna finish you off with a foul play. And we should be okay there. So down goes his Mega. We know he doesn't have any more Megas. That is great news. In comes a Polyrath. Um, interesting. What are you gonna? What is this Polyrath gonna do to me, sir? 175. You about to take a Brave Bird, boy? Does a nice 55. Now he's gonna Ice Punch. Which Mandibuzz is way too thick for that, sir. You're overestimating your Polyrath. You hate to see it. A wasted Wrath. Okay. In comes a Hoopa. Uh, so the Brave Bird's gonna do a decent man amount to that. A foul play would have been great there. Do we outspeed? Sure do. Mandibuzz, the absolute MVP of the game. Killing him. Okay, back to the Dark Rye. Uh, 240, there's no way we outspeed this thing, but Mandibuzz went on a tear. And that is great. So, down you go. And alright, so now we have all sorts of options against a Dark Rye. He has one Pokemon we have not seen yet. We'll go into the Pangoro. And at this point, we'll probably just go straight for the Superpower. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I always, when I think of Pangoro, I always think of this thing in the, uh, Detective Pikachu movie. That boy be chilling. Alright, he's gonna freaking substitute. Oh, the Hypnosis actually hits, so they don't give it Dark Void, they give it Hypnosis. And the Bad Dreams. Wow. That is extremely annoying. Why would you do this to me, sir? Do I want to go into the Regirock? What have we seen from this? We saw a Sludge Bomb? Hello? Super Ramp. We're going to the Regirock, and we're going to try to Drain Punch it. It's going to Sludge Bomb again. Does nothing. Catch this Drain Punch, boy. Hit him with the H-Face. I love Regirock. Although, I don't even know what my favorite Reggie would be. I feel like I have too much of an emotional attachment to all of them. Okay, in comes the Scavalier yet again. Drain Punch does nothing. Why are you bringing this in against Regirock? I guess Iron Head, but... We'll see. Oh, the Stone Edge misses. We're actually faster. That boy's slow as hell. You get outsped by a Regirock. Oh my god, we missed two Stone Edges? Sweet Jesus. Okay, well, we're gonna try for one more. Yeah, that's gonna do it. But of course, it doesn't have enough damage to kill it. And we just wasted our damn time on Stone Edges. Okay, well, that is annoying. Let's go into the Diggersby, though. And let's go for a Swords Dance. His arms... Or no, sorry, his ears are arms. His ears are arms, sir. Okay, we get the Swords Dance for free as he switches into the Polyrath. And now, Quick Attack is about to bend it over and spread him. Yep, down you go. So, that's a dead Polyrath. Now he's going to bring in... Hey, this man's got the ball in, though. The ball in, though. Do I click Quick Attack or Earthquake? Can this thing kill me? Does Bolin have enough damage to knock me out here? It's level A up. It has, it's seven levels higher than me. We're just going to Quick Attack, which probably would... Yep, not going to do shit. Okay, yep, derp. He Toxic Spikes, too. What the fuck? Do we Earthquake now? He's going to set up two layers of spikes. This thing did not come with a water move. No Hydro Pump, no Waterfall. Just two Toxic Spikes. Okay, well. That is fine. The Intimidate knocks it, knocked us down to 1.5. Or did that thing have Intimidate? What did he even... Because it doesn't say two. No, yeah. We, yep, no, the False Alarm. Um, no, it did have Intimidate. That's why. Okay, I'm dumb. I'm stupid. This Cavalier has 1%. And we're just gonna click the quick, click the quick attack. That's that's a tongue twister. Well, we actually finish it off here with a full battle, and uh, we went undefeated relatively. 
I probably was going to lose one of those. But hey, maybe I got to stick with random battles and try to just climb the ladder. We're, gonna, we're going for top 10, boys. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Unless that's something you guys want. But that is going to finish off the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's an unconventional video. It's not something I normally do. But uh, it has been fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Peace out.